we've come across some great deck and fence solutions while filming outdoor projects. Here are some of my favorites. First up, Sarah Keenleyside. The co-host of HGTV's Backyard Builds gave us a tour of her very own backyard. Her goal was low maintenance, so she increased the size of her deck and organized it into two areas, living and dining. By incorporating an integrated bench into the new fence design, the dining table can tuck neatly to one side, allowing space for a comfortable lounging area with a sectional. The best part is that Sarah designed a stunning two-sided fence by using two by twos to frame around the panels on each side of the fence. This is a great friendly fence solution and keeps the neighbors happy. Next up is this third floor roof deck that Tracy and her husband have been talking about doing for a long time and with the help of Home Depot, they made it happen. Being an narrow row house, there isn't a lot of outdoor space, so reimagining this rooftop was a great solution. We moved here about 16 years ago and it was originally just a plain flat roof and it, I'll have to admit it took us 16 years to figure out what to do with it. What we had to do was redo the roof to make sure it was waterproofed and we also needed to make sure it was structurally sound before we decided to put the deck on top. You know, I love Pinterest, so I basically looked at small rooftop decks. We had this design in mind and so we went to Home Depot and sourced everything. We purchased all the cedar, including all the fencing and the posts. We also purchased the Trex decking, as well as the patio set and the rug and all the lighting. It was all really convenient. We definitely looked at the website and it was good to get a visual of what they had available and what was practical and what we could actually use. We knew that it needed to be high and safe, so that's why this privacy screen is about six feet in height, but it's also a rooftop deck, so it gets a lot of sun. So I knew that we wanted to do some kind of shaded structure and I decided on a pergola, which went with all the nice vertical lines of the fencing. We chose the cedar because, one, it's lighter than pressure-treated wood, and we had to take that into consideration when you're putting a deck on a third floor. Secondly, it has this beautiful natural graining, and again, because the design called for a lot of wood, we wanted it to wear well and be naturally beautiful to look at. My husband and I spent a lot of time sourcing the composite decking, and we ended up going with a company called Trex from Home Depot. The great thing about composite is that it doesn't splinter, it's really easy to clean, and it wears well. You don't have to paint it, it already comes with its own color. It's very low maintenance, which is really good when you've got lots of kids and when you're lazy. <laughs> Roseanne Greco of Greco Interiors changed an awkward narrow staircase that led from her kitchen into her backyard into a pretty deck, just big enough to have some casual seating. She added a wide staircase that gently leads down into her garden. Widening the staircase adds impact and really unifies the upper level with the lower level, and it also gives a casual place for people to perch. The deck and staircase were done in composite material. I really liked how Roseanne used a white color on the riser and a soft gray on the surface. Landscape architect Joel Lobla used cedar decking in such a creative way. Due to the root structure and the large mature trees on this property, he couldn't change the grade of the back garden, so instead he built a clever elevated walkway deck with a post and beam arbor to connect the two areas. He also added a privacy fence stained in a dark gray so it blends into the shade of the garden. So whether you have a large back garden or a small city rooftop like this, there is a deck solution for you.